So today I asked you to look at uh, multiplying these two numbers, 10 multiplied by 0 decimal 5 and 0 decimal 2 multiplied by 0 decimal 4. And I'm curious to see in what ways, uh, what ways you guys use to solve these two questions. So who wants to volunteer? Let's look at the first one, which I think most of you might have found a little on the easy side. And that was the purpose. Uh, Timmy. I Loud and clear, pal. I drew uh, ten, ten, ten ones blocks. Okay. You do ten ones blocks, like the little guys, like this? Yeah, no, ten, ten, zero point five blocks. So zero point five blocks, let me see. Oh, I see what you did. Okay. So you did this. There we go. Okay. So each one of the, each one is 0 0.1, you said? Uh, yeah. Each little guy is 0 0.1. 0 0.1. And you do 10 sets of them. Yeah. And then what did you do with that? You added them all up, so you, it's basically you did 0 0.5. So this is the same here, 0 0.5. That's the same here. Right, Tim? This is what you did, right? Yeah. Okay, because I'm not going to draw them all out. It's going to take too long right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just confirming that I have the right number. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what did you do to all of them? You added them all up, that's what you said. So when you add all these up, 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.5 is what? One. It's one. So this is one. This is one. This is one. This is one. So your answer is five, correct? Correct. Was there another way you guys solve this exact same question? Tom? Well, I, have a, I have a question. Go for it. If you're using those small blocks, wouldn't it be 0 0.01? Well, that, that is the tricky part is how you are using these blocks. Because if you use this as your one, then you need 10 of these guys, right? So then this block is 0 decimal 1. However, if you're using the bigger blocks, the square, let's grab the square here. So here, I'm going to steal from this desk here. If you use one of these as a 1, this becomes decimal 1. This becomes 0 0.1. So it depends what you are using to like compare. Tim used this one as his one, this one as a zero decimal one. It works, okay? But it might not work for all of the questions, okay? So they could have used manipulatives if they wanted to. So there is 10 times 0 0.5. What's another st way of saying 10 times 0 0.5? Because I think I saw some of you write this down as well. Instead of saying 10 times 0 0.5, what is it like saying, Elias? Uh, 10 over 100 times 5 over 100. 10 over 100, are you sure about that? 10 over 1 multiplied by what? 5 over 10 or? 5 over 10 or 1 half, right, because it's the same thing. So then when you multiply these out, 10 times a half. So basically it's saying what's half of 10, right? Because then you get 10 over 2 equals to 5, okay? That's another way of doing it. 
Zero decimal two multiplied by zero decimal four. This is the one I'm curious about. What did you do to solve this one? And it doesn't matter what strategy you share with me. I just want to see. Let's get as many on paper as possible. And then we're going to pick our best one. Aaliyah. I just lined up the two numbers in my chart. Okay, so you line them up. Uh, zero decimal two. Where did you put the zero decimal four? So I put the zero underneath the zero and the decimal underneath the four underneath Okay. So you multiply them. Okay. How did you get 0 0.08 though? Because oh, a lot of zeros and a lot of decimals, it gets confusing, right? 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Okay. Let me write that down. 0 0.8. Okay. Any different strategies or comments about this one? Any different strategies or comments about this one? Manaho. One of these like this? Yeah. Okay. So you use these two here, and then what did you do? A 0 0.4 like this. Okay. They give you 0 0.8. Did anyone get a different answer? That's two students who got 0 0.8. But now I've got hands up there saying I have a different answer. Isha. So in so you're saying that the mistake that the girls made is that they they kept the decimal lined up like you do in adding and subtracting. But you're saying in multiplication you have to do something else. What do you have to do? Two decimal places here because there's one decimal place here and one decimal place here, right? Yeah, so we have to put like after two numbers. After two numbers, so right here. Yeah. So you're saying this one here because this this way is the adding way, but we're multiplying. Does anyone agree with her on this one? Mm -hmm. There's a few hands up for that. Yes? I agree with uh, Isha because. Okay. In multiplication, you have to add the numbers before the decimal, like like behind the decimal, you have to add it, and then you have to count the numbers and then place the decimal um, after you add, like after you count the numbers. And that's the way I was taught too back in the day, but I didn't understand why that happened. All I remember was my grade five teacher saying to me, "You have to count the decimal places, multiply it normally without the decimal there." Because he even told me not to put the decimal here, which kind of confused some of the students. And then you put your decimal at the end. You count two spots, and then you move it. But the goal is to understand why this happens. 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 also represent what? What does this represent? 0 0.2, 0 0.4. And I'll give you a hint. You did it in the first one. So let's use that strategy and apply it for the second one. Maybe this will help us understand a little bit. Ali. Um, 0.2 is 2 tenths. Okay, 0 0.2 is 2 over 10, okay. And 0 0.4 is 4 over 10. It's 4 over 10. We'll leave it like this. Even though these fractions are not reduced, they still work. So let's go, because the question says 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.4, it's like saying 2 over 10 multiplied by 4 over 10, correct? Right? So now what's 4 times 2? We know that it's 8. And 10 times 10 is? It's 100. Huh, 8 over 100. Interesting. Yes? I have, uh, I disagree with the blocks thing. 
uh, it's 0 0.2 in, in the 4, you're, re you're representing the 4 as a whole number. Yeah. 4, and it has to be 0 0.4. Like 0 0.4. So you're saying that the blocks is incorrect. Okay. So what if I, I just need to see something here. Hold on. Let's try using the grid to showcase um, how to multiply decimals. Okay. So this grid here, let's pretend this and this is the same. Okay. But I'm actually using the squares okay so this is going to represent one how much would 0 0.4 be okay so if that's confusing to you you can even backtrack and pretend that this is actually 10 okay because technically there are 10 squares here okay we're pretending it's one so each one is really representing one tenth. So if it's 0 0.4, which is four tenths, how many should I shade up at the top? Aliyah, let's do four. So I'm gonna shade it with my pen, which is probably not the best thing to do, but, okay. So four tenths, so I've shaded 0.4 here, it's basically the same as doing this here. Okay. So let me shade all these in. Because this represents four tenths, right? Oh, the enthusiasm today is unbelievable. First day back after a four-day weekend, eh? <laughs> so we have basically four of these sticks that is represented right now okay so there's 0 0.4 okay now 0 0.2 if we take 0 0.2 over here check this out how many do we have highlighted in this little box here how many total ones are highlighted? Taha. There's eight. So because there's eight highlighted, okay, eight total squares highlighted, how many total squares are there in this little box? How many total squares are there here? Yeah. No, and this, 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 this whole thing right here, how many total squares are there here? There's a hundred. So eight over a hundred. And in decimal form, eight hundredths looks like 0 0.08. 0 .08, and that's why this answer right here is the correct one.